And now hopefully for one more time. Ready? Here we go. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gillooly Cahoon, an artist who lives and works in East Providence, Rhode Island. I'm primarily an acrylic painter who does portraits. The Drag Project is about celebrating and humanizing a group of people who I feel are being unfairly targeted, dehumanized, and mistreated today in our country. Fifty members of the far-right white nationalist groups Proud Boys and Patriot Front marched in the streets of Columbus, Ohio on Saturday. A group of men shouted slurs during a drag queen story hour in San Lorenzo, California. The Tennessee Senate passed a bill that would ban drag shows from public spaces. It would also What if I was being attacked because I used acrylic paint? I just happened to like acrylic paint and that was my expression. And then the laws came out against acrylic painters. Across the country, we're seeing this groundswell of initiatives that are uh, aimed at dehumanizing people that are just practicing their art form. For this project, I chose a subject, Bianca Del Rio, who was from RuPaul's Drag Show, and just love her. But in the process of painting her, it made me think about pe people that I've known for 30 years, friends of mine, involved in this art form of drag, have come under fire. Nadia was a student of mine in a high school classroom. And it's been fun to, to follow her journey and to see how uh, the art of drag has really helped her come out of her shell and embrace who she is. And she's just, she's wonderful at it. I work with reference photos, and the, one of the trickiest things is picking the right reference photo, something that I feel captures the je ne sais quoi of who that person is. And at a certain point, I abandon the photograph, and it's just about having a conversation with the painting. didn't really see it in La Diva where there's this light coming out from behind her. This was the first painting I did after Bianca that focused on a local queen. I met La Diva when we were in our 20s. I'm gonna do it as in part of their, in their community. And La Diva has also been incredibly helpful in terms of helping connect me with other queens who might be interested, helping me find a venue. So the idea is that they are going to be at the stable in Providence. I've already worked with the owner over there, Steve, who's fantastic and, and very invested in his community. And I'm directing at least 50% of the funds to the community. Community is incredibly important. Having a place that you can gather and bond and, and laugh and cry and share, uh, having a, a space, almost like a sacred space to do that kind of thing is, is very important. Building relationships is key and making art and posting art and engaging on social media and having shows, uh, those are ways that I engage with my community that's meaningful and important. I'm only one tiny little red-headed woman in Rhode Island, but this is what I do. If people see a work of art, it, it makes them f feel something or change the way they associate or think about a person, a place, or a group of people. That's powerful. If you want to know what's going on, mm -hmm.